What's going on guys? It is Silver Forever here and today we have another unboxing this time from Atmex with a pretty interesting assortment of high premium items. This thing is stuck with some glue to the bottom. There we go. Nice and secure. So I'm just going to cut to the chase. Let us see what we have inside. We have silver, but we also have some sweet shiny gold. Can you see what that is, folks? This is my first and likely only three gram fractional gold piece 2021 Chinese gold panda. Not even a full one tenth ounce, only three grams, but a great new addition to my one tenth ounce collection. If you guys haven't seen the video already, I am participating in the one tenth ounce gold challenge issued by Spectacular the silver stacular check out this video i did about it it's right over here right up there i'm moving forward with it he called upon everybody to stack a one tenth ounce gold piece for every month of 2021 you know it's not technically one tenth of an ounce it's technically three grams because the chinese mint decided a few years ago instead of working in english units like troy ounces that they were going to do metric units make of that what you will but rather than having the one troy ounce which amounts to about 31 grams they do 30 grams in their one ounce equivalent pieces and instead of one tenth troy ounces they just do three grams even i've given it a lot of thought and i even did some research asking around and the main question i had was should i leave this three gram chinese gold panda in the original packaging in Certain coins, it really doesn't make much of a difference. For instance, my Canadian maple leaf in the one tenth ounce I got in the original packaging. And this is actually from 1999. It's the 20th anniversary edition of this coin. And I removed it. You know, I got rid of the packaging. But the truth is, I held off on removing the packaging from this here Chinese gold panda for several months since I originally purchased the thing. And, you know, I just don't like it. I don't like leaving it in the package. So this is indeed the authentic packaging, but if you get a close look, it just seems dirty, you know? There's not only prints, but there seems to be dust and hair, and it's just not a good look. And yeah, maybe I'd be able to get an extra five or 10 bucks on a private resale from this thing, but as much as you might hear otherwise, silver and gold stacking, it isn't all just about the money. For me, it is a hobby, and I really enjoy having my one tenth ounce pieces in these capsules where I can play with them a little bit more. It's been kind of a hassle with this Chinese gold panda in the packaging. So today, you're gonna see me do it. I'm going to cut up this original packaging and I'm gonna go ahead and put it into one of our capsules. So here it goes, nothing. Oh no. You know, I've had some people give me a hard time just about handling the gold or silver bullion with gloves when it might not seem necessary, but I'm gonna give it a shot this time. I might regret it. I'm gonna go gloveless. It looks like the first cut did not do it, so we're gonna go with a second cut here. Delicate, oh so delicate. Wow. What I will immediately say is I am happy that I took this out of the packaging. This thing looks so much better in the hand unobstructed by that nasty plastic. Look at this gold bullion coin. You know, these Chinese pandas in both silver and gold are borderline numismatic. They definitely have a higher premium, especially when you consider the fact that this is only three grams or the, the one ounce equivalent is 30 grams. So they're actually less than the full Troy ounces that you typically see from government issued bullion coins. But these will often have a new design every year. And so they are kind of collector coins just to get a sense of how thin that is. As for the diameter, I'm really hoping that this thing fits well into our capsule. 
because it is a tiny one. There she is, folks, the 2021 Chinese Gold Panda, three grams. We are going to put it into a black ring capsule. I think that they make our one-tenth ounce pieces really pop. They are slightly smaller than dimes, and so they're really hard to hold in the hand, but when you have a bigger capsule like this, it just makes it a lot more enjoyable to play around with your fractional gold. Check out this Gold Proof Libertad. One of my favorite pieces. In fact, two of my favorite pieces. All right, so let's stop messing around here. I'm gonna go ahead and get my hands on one of these capsules, trying to be as clean as possible when you do this. Well, folks, as it turns out, these Chinese gold pandas are actually not 16 millimeters like most of these other 1 10th troy ounce gold coins. Despite being smaller, three grams around 0 0.096 troy ounces, it's actually thinner than the other ones in terms of thickness and wider in terms of diameter, which means that instead of using a 16 millimeter coin capsule, I'm gonna use the same one that I used for dimes, like this here, Mercury Dime, which is an 18 millimeter capsule. And I'm gonna switch this one out right now and put this Chinese Gold Panda in. As hard as it is to get a capsule closed, it is even harder to get one opened, particularly if you don't wanna do damage to the thing. My best advice on something like this is you kinda of wanna dig around with your finger and figure out which side actually has the opening. And then if you can avoid using a knife or any other item that's gonna to do too much scratching, highly recommend that, but sometimes you just can't help doing it. So I'm gonna give it a shot. The key with this is to actually find one small place where you can get a finger in, a fingernail, and then you slowly work your way around the entire circumference of the capsule. And that way you pull it off evenly instead of trying to just pull it open from one particular point. My patience is wearing thin, time is running out. I'm just having an effort moment right now and I'm going for it. I'm gonna do some damage to this thing. Don't play with knives at home, folks. You know, they want you to be delicate, but ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, so now that I got a little bit of wiggle room between each side of the capsule, I'm gonna work my way around. There we go. Definitely messed up the outside, but I'm gonna try to keep the inside as clean as possible. I really don't know why I put this dime in there. Pretty stupid. Definitely not a priority. I wanna get this Chinese gold panda in there, and so I'm gonna do that right now. It did not fit in this 16 millimeter, so we are going into the 18. Delicate, there we go. You guys have no idea how hard filming a 1 10th ounce or a three gram gold coin is, it's ridiculous. And now for everyone's favorite part, closing a coin capsule. I don't know if I'm gonna get any more of these. You know, it's only three grams. This was actually a good deal, but if I'm gonna be stacking fractional gold, I'm probably just going to go with the old classics, the American Gold Eagle, for instance. Here's one in a capsule without the black ring. Here's one with the black ring. If I can come across a great deal like I did on these Gold Proof Libertines, you bet your bottom dollar that I'm going to pick those up. I want to get examples of each. You know, I have the Britannia here. I have the Canada Maple Leaf here. And now the Chinese Gold Panda added to the stack. So I literally found this outside yesterday. No idea what it is or where it's from. Does anybody have an idea of what this is? It looks kind of like a gimmicky tourist thing to me. I think it has something to do with Christopher Columbus, maybe a Caribbean coin. I don't think that it's actually real gold. If you've ever seen this coin and you know anything about it, let me know. 